G'day friends, welcome to a page in 10. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be using a brush pen and we're gonna be doing profiles, face profiles. Something that I, I mean, if I wanna be good at it, I know how to be, but it's not something that just like naturally falls out of my hand. I rarely draw profiles. In fact, I even made a stamp set that had a profile in it that I like, so I could just use that if I ever wanted to kind of cheat the process. But um, yeah, it's definitely not something that I feel like most people gravitate towards. It can be a tricky angle. I'm not gonna teach you anything too crazy today but we're just going to draw a whole bunch of profiles side by side kind of overlapping each other just to get a feel for kind of how that works I'm not going to give you any like you know I'll break it down like this kind of tips I'm just going to show you the kind of line process that I go through and just repeat that over and over again so we'll see how far we get but let's start the timer 10 minutes on the clock and I'm going to do it going from left to right so I'm going to start over here the first thing we've kind of got is this curve this is the forehead um, some foreheads can be quite flat, some can be quite curved. For me, I'm just going to curve it. These are all going to become bangs in the end anyway. We're going to dip in a little bit, and then we're going to run the nose out. So we've kind of got like this S-curve going on here. How far you go out with the nose is how forward the nose will protrude. So I don't tend to go too far, and I actually tend to hook it back under with a slight curve, so that it's kind of got this kind of lifted, pointy nose. Like a little little pointy nose, ski slope, ski slope, right? <laughs> then I'm going to add a little bit of a dip underneath that. This becomes just above the Cupid's bow. And this is where it can get a little tricky. I'm going to add another bump that slightly curves into the face. This is the top lip. I always get the urge to make like a really rounded full top lip, but to be fair, most of the time it doesn't go too far beyond where that little bump under the nose kind of juts out. Here at the next part, we just choose a point on the lip, closer to the edge if you want kind of more protruding lips, uh, further back if you want like a bit of a, a shallower chin, but somewhere halfway between we add another little bump, just kind of the same as the top. So if you looked on the side, it'd kind of like be this awkward M shape. Some people do this as a heart shape, but to me, like once you just get the hang of the scoop, because it's kind of scooping out, right? You've got a bump out, a bump in, a bump under, a bump in, a bump out, a bump out. To me, they're all like concave convex, you know, bumps or hills. Underneath the chin, we're gonna bump it back in a little bit. This is the point where your lip dips back in, the lip dip, <laughs> and then your chin is gonna jut out. And depending on how much of a chin you want, you can pull that forward or pull it back. I generally like to keep it just about the same as the lips and then hook that in. So this becomes your kind of profile. I'm not going to worry with eyes today, but I will show you just how to add the nose on. You're going to add the, no the nostril somewhere about where this hook kind of meets the face. And it's just kind of going to wrap that edge a little bit. And then you're going to add your C shape to the corner there. So that'll give you a nice little nose detail. And then for the top lip, I'm just going to pretend these are all women today and they're wearing some kind of lipstick or something. You just want to color in that bump down to the corner of the mouth that you first drew. Try not to bring this corner of the mouth too far in. It gets a little jokery. The lips, even big lips from a profile view, don't look as big as you think they do. Um, unless you're really going for that, you know, fish face look, <laughs> which sometimes I am. <laughs> Let's try this again, and we're going to speed it up a little bit. We're going to hook out for the forehead. This is a little exaggerated, but they're going to become bangs. I'm going to dip in. This time I'm going to go straight out for the nose. It's going to be a, quite a straight nose, less of a ski slope. And I'm going to bump it back under. I'm going to put my little hook in under the nose. And I'm going to bump out for the lip. This time I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to put the bottom lip on a little smaller, hook in for the chin. I'm going to give it a really small chin this time, and you'll see the whole look of the face completely changes. See how this looks like a completely different person to this person? We've only changed a few things because the proportions are all about the same. We've just got a smaller chin, a bigger top lip, and a smaller bottom lip, and this nose is straight rather than ski sloped. So we don't need to change too much to get a completely different looking person. Put that nostril on, and then here you can see how big the top lip is now. I'm going to draw that in to 
the corner of the mouth. So if you filled in the bottom lip, you would kind of see that it looks a bit like a heart shape with a, you know, a bigger top part of the heart. <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Profiles are hard. They're not the easiest things in the world. Let's just speed it up a little bit. We're going to curve around and dip it out, dip under, dip in, top lip, bottom lip, chin, under. There we go. Put a little nostril on. You can see I've used my uh, pressure when I use this brush pen to give you that really interesting line quality. I will say sometimes if you're feeling not super confident, the sketchier or the kind of more expressive you make these lines, the more you can get away with. See how these don't even all match up and join properly? It, it's a really good trick so that when people look at it, they don't, they just fill in the gaps and they're usually pretty generous when they fill in the gaps. This time we're going to give it a bit of a rounded nose, it's a bit of a rounded edge. I'm going to dip it back in. Big top lip, big bottom lip, small chin. Lift that chin up. Put the nostril on. Put that top lip on. And that's another completely different person. You can go all the way to the edge as well. Let's just keep going. You might be taking a bit longer than 10 minutes or Maybe you just want to try one or two and just focus on that. That's completely fine. This is a bit, it's a bit tricky, so you don't need to get it. I just wanted to share with you my very quick process of doing the profile of the face and just how we make those changes to make them look like different people. Like this one, I'm going to hook the nose down and give her really small lips. There we go. I'm going to make an aquiline nose. I believe that's the term where it's got a bump. And a big lip. There we go. I think we can get one more in there. Let's go massive lip this time. Big top lip. <laughs> Smaller bottom lip. Bit of a plastic surgery disaster on that one. Now from the bottom of all of these, I just want you to grab a little bit of a hook and go down to the bottom left diagonal. These are going to be their necks. We don't need to be too perfect with it, but I just want to finish this off a little bit. And then I'm going to use this first bump as my bang. So I'm going to make these strokes the same curve as that first bump, and this is going to cover where the eyes would be. I'm just going to do it to the whole thing, so it's just going to be a row of bangs here. And that way they'll look a bit more finished. Eyes on profiles are even harder because they technically look like a triangle from the side, and it can just be hard to uh, explain that quickly and efficiently. So we, uh, we make our little make our little choices to, to get through it. And I think the bangs are really cute anyway. But if that's something you want to challenge yourself to go and figure out today, the profile view of an eye, you could add eyes to all of these and be completely happy with it. I'm going to add slightly curved line from the chin as well. And I like to color this part in at the neck just to kind of separate it. It won't really read because all of these are a little too close just a little bit on the chin because technically this jaw the chin connects to the jaw that will lead up to the ear and that's how you finish off the other side of the face but I think this will totally get you through having a bit of a quick play with profiles sometimes this is all we need you know in journaling if you're if you're an art journal like me and you're just kind of you know drawing out your day you don't need to be adding every single detail of every single thing. Sometimes you just need a side profile so you can put a speech bubble or maybe you just want to draw a side profile just because you like it. Like you don't really need the full, the full face with all the details and all the body and all the limbs and all the fingers, like all the digits. You don't need all of that all the time. In fact, I rarely need all the details. <laughs> I'm usually always just drawing the one specific thing I want to draw and that's enough for me. 
All right, we've got 50 seconds on the clock. I think we did really well. You could do a light, nice line of um, journaling on top here as well. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna round that off on the top just to give them the top part of their hair. We'll give them a little crowns or ears. If you set, slight, set, oh goodness, if you set them slightly apart a little bit and you do draw the back, yeah, um, these would be great like earring models <laughs> to do some earring designs. There we go. If you want to put a little bit of shading anywhere, like I said, under the neck is pretty good, but also sometimes I'll shade just from the tip of the nose down to the edge of the nostril. Just that under the nose area kind of sells the illusion a little bit. And if you're going to use a different color, like I'm using this pencil so it kind of looks like a light gray, you can also shade the bottom lip as well. But I think I'll just leave it at the nose. And there are our profiles. I hope you enjoyed that quick little exercise. Don't stress if, it, if you feel like it was too much. There are tons of other Page in 10 videos that are a little less complicated than this. I don't tend to get this complicated, but for some reason I just felt like showing you today. So I thought, you know what? Lead with that. Go with what you're feeling uh, inspired to share. Because that's always usually the best. Um, what's the best for me anyway? Selfishly, it's the best for me to film it. <laughs> Thank you for being here with my Page in 10 videos. There's a whole playlist. Check them all out. You can spend tons of time with me playing in your journals today or uh, come back and revisit them some other time soon. There's so many and there are so many different things to try. I think there's even one with Steve, like the um, the Mandala one, I think we do with Steve. I don't know what number that is, but anyway, there's a ton there. Hope to uh, see you around some more. I'll be back with a page in 10 another time soon. I usually batch film these, so this is the last of my batch of today, so I don't know when it will be the next video, but just check through the playlist. I'm, I'm always adding some more. Okay, have a great day. Bye.